All right, hey everybody, this is Luther, and welcome to Kena Bridge of Spirits, uh, which I have been looking forward to for a while. We are gonna just do Spirit Guide. I like base difficulty first time I play through something. Uh, turn off the bright just a little bit. Uh, this is going to be a blind playthrough. I don't know anything about this game, but I'm super psyched about it. Turn down the audio just a little bit. Press L1 to pulse. So, if you're somebody who's been following along uh, with the channel, you know that I was originally floaty jumps. Um, I was originally planning on doing Tales of Iron next, and then coming to this game. Um, I did an episode and a half of Tales of Iron, and Tales of Iron's combat is not playing around. And after spending a lot of time just getting clobbered in Dark Souls, I want something that's less focused on murdering me. So we're going to play this first, and we'll do Tales of Iron next. I'm still going to play it, don't get me wrong, it looks like a lot of fun, but... It's going to be another game where I have to master the combat system, so... Man, look at how pretty this is. It's only a $40 game, y'all. Okay, so we can swim. Not sure if I should be exploring like every nook and cranny or anything like that. Alright, so we got a soft and a hard swap and a heavy swing. L2 doesn't really seem to do anything yet. We have a dive, we have a jump. <laughs> Honestly, this is Dark Souls controls. I'm right at home. Maybe X will be heal. By X, I mean square. button mashing. Oh. Okay, so I do have a lock. I was thinking for a second I didn't. Tell me to turn back. I don't want to turn back. So we'll head, uh, we'll head this way, actually. What's going on over here? Not 100% sure what the pulse does other than lighten things up. Uh. 
watch I'll find out in 10 minutes that I only have like 30 of them for the entire game or some nonsense like that. Alright. Can't jump up there. Hmm. Let's go check over here. Oh, I see. That's lit up part way. So I bet if I come up over here, watch out! So let's go here. Why are blue glowy lights always pretty? Alright, so that just gets knocked around. Okay, before I walk out here, I just want to take a moment and point out that I started playing video games with, like, Pong and Space Invaders, and I don't know what's coming, but holy cow. Like, <laughs> look at this. Interact, okay. So... Not sure if that did anything. Like, do those turn off after? Yeah, they do. Okay, so they light up for a second and then they turn off. And it looks like it's the bowl that I was interacting with, but only once. Okay, on we go. I like the little jump that she does when you use the pulse, too. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Find the rot. I feel like these guys are entirely too cute to be called rot. Oh, I got a double jump. So it's interesting. They didn't define what the area is. I'm not sure how far I'm supposed to be looking to find these guys. I'm guessing they want me to go up there. Kids again, okay. What did I find another one? Assume they just want me to keep going. Alright, no one over here. Alright, three more. So, oh, okay, it just takes her a while to get around to it. I was about to say that I'm not actually kissing the rot, I'm trying to kiss it. I've never said that sentence before. Alright, we'll chase them that way in a minute, I think. Uh, I feel like I've missed some stuff here. Rot to purify this dead zone heart. Sounds alarming. jump from inside the water. Let's try this again. It was circle to grab, right? Okay. So I'm not really grabbing anything. Or at least that area. It looks like the white lines maybe indicate what I can grab, so... Let's see, this is underneath... And I can't do anything over here yet. So let's follow the kids. All right. 
Well, that's almost all of them. Interesting how many things we can accomplish just by tapping the staff. And is this a tutorial on climbing? Maybe not. So this is where I came in. Hold on a minute. So that's where the treasure chest was. So we need to go this way. Hmm. another direction to go then. Got four rot, there's still one to go. No. This is definitely where the kids went. Touchpad doesn't do anything yet. Let's see if there's anything past this. sound. Okay, so no. I already determined I probably can't go up there. I already went up here. Is there anything past this? Got the four big ones following me and the little one on my shoulder. Just wondering if I missed something. I mean, the game doesn't really seem to be going to extreme lengths to hide these little guys, but at least not yet. see this. There we go. Yay, level one. The rock can now perform more actions. Well, cool. Press square to send the rot onto objects in the environment. Collect rots, level up, and gain more rot actions. Okay. So. Pretty clear they want us to head back to the tree then. Use rot. Get him. Yeah. Take that, dead zone heart. Okay, and this provides me with a bridge. Cool. I'm going to go take a look at this real quick. 
Just make sure there's nothing over here. Oh, interesting. If I hold the button down, I don't know if that's like a shield or what, but... Okay, so... I do not actually have to hit a grab button. She'll grab onto those shell those ledges automatically. I do have to push X to jump, though. We've got another heart over here. Thunk. Enemies frighten the rot. Spend courage to perform rot actions. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Okay, beat people up, send the rod, hit a pulse. certain objects, press square, tell them where to go, aiming with L2, and then press square again. Okay. Pick that up. Uh, let's put it right there. Release. I mean, do I have anywhere that it needs to be put? Okay, guys, but where do you want it to go? Oh, okay. It's probably over there. Let me look around just a little bit longer. Okay, I got an empty area over here. Yeah, so he's definitely trying to give me some help here. Alright, guys, pick it up. Put it right there. And now drop it. There we go. That looks smashable. Don't give me a pot and tell me I can't do anything with it. Actually, can I make you guys do something with it? Come on, it's shining and everything. Oh, open. Huh, okay. There was a whole thing showing up right there for me. Alright, so... Can you pick that up? Okay. 
So apparently just picking that up was good enough. more trouble this way. Uh oh, that looks alarming. Let me help you. I can heal these spirits and restore balance to the forest. I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land, but you do not fully understand it. I love how they're different sizes. Wonderful. I assume we're going to get different colors eventually, too. You can come out. It's safe now. Look, Saya, she cleared away the poison. The little guys can eat it. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> My name is Kana. What are you two doing out here? Alone in the forest. Don't worry about us. We've been here a long time and take care of ourselves. I can see that. You both look very strong. Do you know who that spirit was with the horned mask? We don't know, but when he shows up, the gross poison grows stronger. Hey, what are you doing here in the forest? I'm searching for the sacred mountain shrine. Can you take me there? If you want to get to the mountain shrine, you have to help us with something first. Of course. Our brother Tar was trapped deep in the forest. We need you to help him. Great idea, Saya. That'll be easy for her. Did you see what she did to that stick guy? Help us free Tar, and we'll take you to the mountain shrine. Woohoo! Come on. All right. Sounds like a deal. Way. All right, so I got three free rod out of that. Um, okay, we are going to go ahead and call this a successful first episode. Um, 
plan is to continue with the way things usually work. So we'll do two episodes a day until this is played through. Um, if you are enjoying yourself, leave a like, leave a subscribe, tell everybody you know, and we will be back soon with more Kina Bridge of Spirits.